Word on the street is that Salon Sister has a hair care product line. I'm in little sister mode. So let's just say Beyonce, the one and only Beyonce has dropped a hair care product line. And of course, I wanted to see how these product line would actually work on my 4C hair. So of course, we are going to do a review today. So hi, I am Mrs. G from Mrs. G's Living. On this channel, we focus on fashion, styling, beauty, and a few other things. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider joining our community by subscribing. So Beyonce dropped a line and of course I wanted to purchase it because I wanted to see how it would live up or work to all my 4C hair. Now, of course, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. I've heard some concerns with Beyonce dropping a hair care product line. One is that she doesn't wear her own hair. And in her profession, of course she doesn't wear her own hair because that would take a lot of manipulation. And if you're not familiar with black hair, note that the more we manipulate it, I know for me, and I'm a regular smuggler, a nine to five person, the more I manipulate it, the more my hair doesn't retain. So of course she doesn't wear her hair often. I don't expect her in her profession to wear her hair 24 seven. So that's kind of a moot point for me. Second concern that was brought up is the marketing. I heard there was concerns because there was a lack of darker hue women in these uh, in the marketing, as well as kinkier texture. For me, I have no expectations of these celebrities. I feel like they live in a world that is not our world. They live in a other world. If you've seen what's going on in the media today and all that is being revealed regarding celebrities, you know that they are somewhere over there and we are somewhere over here. And for me, um, it would be nice that she included a more diverse group of women, especially darker hue women, because in the black community, I think it's an expectation when you reach this level of success to actually highlight some of the concerns and disparities within our community but these celebrities tend to fall short all the time. So I have no expectations. When you don't have any expectations of these celebrities, um, you will never be disappointed. So that's all I'm gonna say. So of course, if you are new to my channel, just note, whenever I buy products, now she has a lot of what I've seen, shampoo, conditioner, not that many styling products, the first thing that I'm going to look for is whether or not she has a travel size. Because when I calculated all of the products that she has, that bill to purchase everything was $300. And it was no way that I was spending $300 on products that I don't know that will cater to my hair or not. Now she markets this line, so Beyonce sacred line she markets it as being for all hair types which to me is concerning because one size to me never fits all but okay of course I'm gonna look for the travel size because it's more it's definitely more affordable than spending $300 so I actually found this travel size sacred it's a double cleanse kit kit double and it retails for $44. Now, if you purchase something new on the website, they give you 10%. Apparently, the 10% is not inclusive for the travel size. So, of course, I was thinking about buying something else just to get the 10%, but the math wasn't mathing. The only other item that I saw that I was intrigued by was the oil. And it had only because of the packaging, but the oil was 40, I believe the oil was $44 as well. And I was just like, that was expensive to me. The highest oil I've ever purchased was the Donna's recipe for $25. And that was expensive to me. So buying the oil for $44 was willing to spend it. Even with, it wasn't mapping, even with the 10%, even with the $7.95 for free shipping, because you get free shipping when you pay $65 or more, I it would have been like $30. And I was just like, I can't wrap my head around buying an oil 
for just for the container because that's actually what I was buying it for because I'm anti-oil and I'm finishing out all of my oils and I'm going back to Greece. So anyway, let me stop rambling. But in this uh, packet, you have, she has the, it's three items. So you have the clarifying shampoo. You also have the hydrating shampoo and then you have the conditioner. So that's what we're going to use today. Fine shampoo. It's, it smells like clay, but it's very medicinal, which I like. So this is the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub. It has some exfoliating beads in it, just lightly. Okay. It's, it's, it smells like mint and eucalyptus. Okay, oh, all right, Beyonce, okay. It feels good. It lathers well. Okay, okay. I don't want to rate it yet until I wash it out, but so far so good. Like my hair feels wonderful. Love that it suds. I love it. Like I love it. It makes. Look at my hair. So the real test is washing it out. Okay, so this is my hair. Now, of course, it stripped my hair, but not completely strip it because you can see it still has bounce and moisture in it. So, okay, I'm not going to lie to you. I would rate this a five out of five. Like, I really enjoyed that. Like, my hair feels squeaky clean. It feels soft. Like, so now we're going to try the hydrating shampoo. Once again, it smells, it has a soft scent to it so it's not overpowering which I appreciate so this is the hydrating shampoo to add back the moisture okay I love the smell of it very soft flurry oh oh shit sorry oh my god y'all Beyonce ain't come to play with this like she said, my mother was a beautician. Stop. I know. You, you see my hair? I know about some hair. Like. Get it. Scalp. Oh, sh I love how it lathers. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I have yet to have a shampoo that lathers like this. I can't explain it. It's, it's a lot of, it like, it's just gliding through. Do you know what I mean? Or maybe I just put too much because you know I'm heavy handed with the product. But, oh my God. Beyonce. And this is like, I have never bought anything from Beyonce. Yes, I know. I'm not, you know, these are celebrities and unless you know these products gonna let me slip into their tax bracket, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm not doing it. <laughs> My God, it feels amazing. It feels like luxury, like. <laughs> okay, so we just finished with the hydrating shampoo and that was amazing. <laughs> the clarifying, the hydrating was amazing. My hair feels back moisturized, so I'm just going to let you see for yourself. Look at that. All right. All right, now, Beyonce. <laughs> All right, sis. I see you. 
wow it smells so good like it's not they use just enough scent or fragrance but it smells amazing so i'm gonna act, look i'm gonna have to rate both five out of five and that is rare because you know if you on my channel you know i'm a skeptic and but this this was amazing so now last but not least moisturizing deep conditioner all right so the the conditioner is thick it's thick 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 it's thick and yes i rub it together i don't know why it has the same smell as the shampoo but not as fragrancy if you know what i mean so but i do love the refreshing smell to it now i can tell you right now i love the shampoo the conditioner the conditioner we're gonna see so i'm detangling with it so the conditioner i can tell you right now i give it a three out of five now it may go up based on once i leave it in for five minutes and i rinse it out but so far i usually can tell if a conditioner is for me or not based on when i you know put it in my hair and how my hair reacts to it my hair is all right with it but it's not like i feel like it's not penetrating my hair as i would want it to penetrate my hair so this is how my hair looks with the conditioner. Of course, I am going to put my thermal cap on. So this is how my hair looks with the conditioner. We're, we're back to wash it out. Okay, so we just finished with the conditioner. It's okay. The conditioner has to be my least favorite out of the travel size kit. Um, I feel like it didn't moisturize my hair back. It was okay. I would stand at a three out of five. But what I will say is that based on the two shampoos, like I'm ready to go back and buy the oil and some other things because the shampoo was definitely to me a five out of five. It smelled like luxury. It did it made my hair feel soft it made my hair feel bouncy um it didn't strip my hair even though one was a clarifying shampoo i would do without the conditioner if i had to rate it i would do without the conditioner but so what i recommended i would say get the try if you're interested in trying her stuff before you spend the 300 dollars because inflation 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 the economy 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 uh all of us ain't got $300 to be spending. If you don't try the tri travel size and see if you like it, just like I did, and then maybe buy one or one or two other products. So yeah, I would definitely, I'm considering going back to at least explore some other products because my hair does feel very, very bouncy. The ringlets, as you can see, are ringletting. And so yeah, I would recommend definitely buying the travel size to see if it's something you're like. So I am Mrs. G from Mrs. G's Living. Peace. We are out.